Florida. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry, we're running a little late. It has been an, a lively day, and we've been having a discussion. I, I started actually talking about our person of the day before we even were broadcasting yet. Sorry about that. But uh, it will be what it will be. So hold on a second out. What do you guys have? What, what, what's for dinner tonight? Spinach lasagna. I'm going to try the pie crust recipe you told me about, and I'm going to make chicken pot pie. Perfect. That'll yes. be great. Give it a try. Yep. It's it's very crumbly. I'll just warn you now, but it's good. But the recipe says you can um, roll it out between parchment. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try it. See how it works. I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. I We used butter instead of um, instead of coconut oil. And I have to use coconut oil because of Amy. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Then I would, I would chill, I would chill the crust before yep. you go. That's what they said. Yep. Oh, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, it was, it was delicious. And I'm having that probably tonight. So I don't want morning, morning prayer. Okay, here we go. And we're up and running. Today is the busy day, folks. We have uh, quite a lot going on, but uh, so happy to start the day with you all. Um, I'm gonna ask your particular prayers today for a man named Walter who is um, not having a good day of it. So we'll pray for him, his health. He is, he is an, an older member of our congregation and his health is not good. So we'll pray for him. All right. Here we go, guys. I will call up the service and we shall begin. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who is a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in, in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. The first portion of Psalm 119 this morning, I'll go with the odd. You guys will respond with the even. Happy are they whose way are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who seek his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart. Who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded, you have commanded your, precepts, your precepts to be kept, kept diligently. 
Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. And I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous ordinances. I will observe your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. I delight in the way you decree as much as, as, in, much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant so that I may live and observe your word. Open my eyes so that I may be whole. Wondrous things out of your love. I live as an alien in the land. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones who wander from your commandments. Take away from me their scorn and contempt, for I have kept your decrees. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your decrees are my delight. delight. They are my counselors. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jonah. But the Lord provided a large fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the God who to the Lord his God in the belly of his fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Shaul I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the floods surrounded me. All your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. How shall I look again upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me, the deep surrounded me, weeds were wrapped around my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought me, brought up my life from the pit. O oh Lord, my God, as my life was ebbing away, I remembered the Lord. And my prayer came to you into the holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their true loyalty. But I with voice of thanksgiving will rejoice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to the fish, and he spewed Jonah out upon the dry land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first cantico this morning is Song of Hosea. Together. Come, let us return to our God, who has torn us and will heal us. God has struck us and will bind up our wounds. After two days, revive us. On the third day, restore us, that in God's presence we may live. Let us humble ourselves, let us strive to know the Lord, whose justice dawns like morning light, its dawning as sure as the sunrise. God's justice will come to us like a shower, like spring rains that water the earth. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since much time had been lost and sailing was now dangerous because even the fast had already gone by, Paul advised them, saying, Sirs, I can see that the voyage will be with danger and much heavy loss, not only of the cargo and the ship, but also of our lives. But the centurion paid more attention to the pilot and to the owner of the ship than to what Paul said. Since the harbor was not suitable for spending the winter, the majority was in favor of putting to sea from there on the chance that somehow they could reach Phoenix where they could spend the winter. It was a harbor of Crete facing southwest and northwest. When a moderate south wind began to blow, they thought they could achieve their purpose. So they weighed anchor and began to sail past Crete close to the shore. But soon a violent wind called the Northeaster rushed down from Crete. Since the ship was caught and could not be turned head on into the wind, we gave way to it and were driven. By running under the lee of a small island called Cauda, we were scarcely able to get the ship's boat under control. 
After hoisting it up, they took measures to undergird the ship. Then, fearing that they would run on the Sirtis, they lowered the sea anchor and so were driven. We were being pounded by the storm so violently that on the next day, they began to throw the cargo overboard. And the third day, with their own hands, they threw the ship's tackle overboard. When neither sun nor stars appeared for many days and no small tempest raged, all hope of our being saved was at last abandoned. Since they had been without food for a long time, Paul then stood up among them and said, men, you should have listened to me and have not set sail from Crete and thereby, thereby avoided this damage and loss. I urge you now to keep up your courage for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For last night there stood by me an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I worship. And he said, do not be afraid, Paul, you must stand before the emperor. And indeed, God has granted safety to all those who are sailing with you. So keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that it will be exactly as I have been told, but we will have to run aground on some island. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second canticle this morning, a song of our true nature. Together, Christ revealed our, fail our frailty and our falling, our trespasses and our humiliations. Christ also revealed his blessed power, his blessed wisdom and love. He protects us as tenderly and as sweetly when we are in greatest need. He raises us in spirit and turns everything to glory and joy without ending. God is the ground and the substance, the very essence of nature. God is the true father and mother of natures. We are all bound to God by nature, and we are all bound to God by grace. And this grace is for all the world, because it is our precious mother, Christ. For this fair nature was prepared by Christ for the honor and nobility of all, and for the joy and bliss of salvation. Please join me in the creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing the joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, the hope of the poor be taken, taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us in the Holy Spirit. The church remembers Samuel Isaac Joseph Sharashevsky today. He was a uh, figure of the 19th century, uh, came out of Russia. He was born to a Jewish family and was actually going to be studying for the rabbinate. Um, spoke fluently Yiddish, Russian, and Polish but uh, became enamored while he was in rabbinical school of a New Testament and received Christ, moved to Germany uh, where he became fluent in German, in which he spent the rest of his life speaking fluent German as well. Uh, he then moved to the United States of America and emigrated to New York and then out into Western Pennsylvania. He was baptized as a Baptist by full immersion baptism 
and then I wound up attending seminary as a Presbyterian event before eventually transferring to General Theological Seminary in New York City, becoming an Episcopalian. He petitioned during that time to go to China as a missionary and uh, was uh, ordained early by the, one of the bishops of New York and uh, sent to the East. He there served uh, and founded churches as well as a university, came back, was they attempted to elect him as a missionary bishop to Shanghai, um, but he rejected that until he could have full funding for educational efforts to form the native Chinese for ministry. And uh, he received that, was commissioned as missionary bishop, traveled to Shanghai. Unfortunately, his health was broken and um, he, had a very severe case of sunstroke and was disabled. He recovered, recovered, returned, and then was further disabled and his health was broken. And this is where it gets really interesting because you think that's a distinguished career already. He spent the next 25 years in China and Japan translating the American English or the English Bible into Wenli, High Mandarin. Um, for the Chinese people. He did that being almost completely paralyzed except for two fingers, which he laboriously typed, and also working with Amanuensi, who are people who can take dictation and translation, um, who are both Chinese and Japanese. So eventually dying in 1906, I believe, um, and succumbing, but not after having finished his translation of the Bible. It's only regret he couldn't have gotten more work done. We remember Samuel Isaac Joseph Shereshevsky today. Oh God, in your providence, you called Joseph Sharashevsky to the ministry of this church and upheld him in his infirmity, that he might translate the holy scriptures into Chinese languages. Inspire us by his example and prayers to commit our talents to your service, confident that you uphold those whom you call. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. Pray for Lorraine, she's having renal dialysis today. Pray for Walter and his entire family and all of the health challenges that they are facing and Walter as he struggles with this next chapter of his journey in this life. Pray for Art who is preparing for surgery. We pray for peace and for healing in our community and in our human family. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We've also been asked to pray for Karen. The general thanksgiving. Together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and, from, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much. We uh, launch into our busy day here at St. Peter's, 10 a.m. Bible study via Zoom, 12 noon noonday prayers. Um, then we take a short break before we reconvene for evening prayer at 5 p.m. Then we have the supper being served from 5.30 to 6.30. Then we have a community of home ministries board meeting at 7. And then we tape Sunday school at 8 p.m. So we're going to have a light day. <laughs> God bless everybody. May your day be fruitful. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.